Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about sin theta, cos theta, tan theta and we are also going to learn the relations between them. So as you can see I have already drawn a right angle triangle. Let me call this as point A, this as point B and this as point C where this is 90 degrees and now let me call this angle as angle theta. So if this is angle theta, the line opposite to that angle is called the perpendicular, usually denoted as P and the line adjacent to that angle and 90 degrees is called the base and the line opposite to 90 degrees is called hypotenuse. And as you know, sine theta is defined as perpendicular by hypotenuse, cos theta is defined as base by hypotenuse. The ratio of perpendicular to hypotenuse is called sine theta and the ratio of base to hypotenuse is called the cos theta, right? And tan theta is defined as the ratio between the perpendicular and the base. The ratio of perpendicular to base is defined as tan theta. And we also know in a right angle triangle, the perpendicular square plus the base square is equal to the hypotenuse square. This is Pythagorean theorem. And what is this theorem? This theorem says the sum of the squares of the sides which make 90 degree is equal to the square of the third side which is called hypotenuse. And now if I divide this equation which is perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square by hypotenuse square. What do we get? h square, h square will cancel each other, will give us 1 and this part becomes p by h whole square plus this portion becomes b by h whole square and this is equal to 1. p by h is sine theta and b by h is cos theta. So from here we get one relation between the sine and cos which is sine theta whole square plus cos theta whole square is equal to 1. And the sine theta whole square and cos theta whole square are also written as sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So this is one relation between sine and cos. And now let's again go back to our original drawing and let's derive few more relationships from there. So let me erase all this. If I divide sine theta by cos theta, what do we get? Sine theta is p by h and cos theta is b by h or this can be written as p by h multiplied by h by b. h and h will cancel each other and we will get p by b which is tan theta. So from here we can say tan theta is also equal to sine theta by cos theta. So this is the relationship between sine theta, cos theta and tan theta and if I talk about the ratio of hypotenuse to perpendicular it is called as cosec theta which is 1 by sine theta. So sine theta is the ratio between perpendicular and hypotenuse and cosec theta is the ratio between hypotenuse and perpendicular. And if I talk about the ratio between hypotenuse and base, this is called sec theta. Yes, it is nothing but 1 by cos theta. Similarly, the ratio between base and perpendicular is called cot theta which is nothing but 1 by tan theta. Cot theta is actually the inverse of tan theta and cosec theta is the inverse of sin theta and sec theta is the inverse of cos theta, right? And there is one more relation which can be derived from the relation of sin and cos which we had written earlier. The relation was sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This was the relation and now if I divide both sides by cos square theta, what do I get? 
this cos square theta and this cos square theta will cancel each other. This will become tan square theta plus this is 1 is equal to 1 by cos square theta is actually sec square theta. So this is the relationship between tan theta and sec theta. Tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta. And if I divide both the sides of this equation by sine square theta, this sine square theta will cancel this sine square theta. Cos theta by sine theta whole square will give you cot square theta. So from here you will get 1 plus cot square theta is equal to 1 by sine square theta that is cos x square theta. So this is the relationship between cot theta and cos x theta. So what we have learned in this video? In this video we have learned about the sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, sec theta, cos x theta and cot theta and we have also learned about the relationships between them. So these are the basic formulas of trigonometry which are very frequently used in solving the problems related to trigonometry. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.